The Nature Conservancy will soon be using stormwater to create new wetlands off the shores of the Great Salt Lake. The project is under construction right now. New specialist Mike Anderson shows us how they plan to get that done. Mike. Yeah, Dan, you know, the end result will be similar to what you can see out here right now at the Great Salt Lake Shorelands Preserve. They're uh, taking dirty stormwater, cleaning it up, making it safe for wildlife out here, and catching it all as it comes downstream. While we may not be able to turn back the clock on the Great Salt Lake, the wetlands that are getting smaller, the developments that are using up the water before it even gets here. We have this area where we have the ability to do something. It doesn't mean we can only do nothing. Chris Brown. This project here will actually impound approximately about 40 to 50 acres of wetlands behind this, this levee that we're sitting on now. Says the Nature Conservancy is seizing an opportunity. It's a drain that drains the Freeport Center and some parts of Layton and uh, Clearfield City. A water control station will take in that dirty storm water. It's always full of garbage, has a lot of silt and debris in it. All of that will be filtered out, creating about 40 new wetlands. The water will come out of the main water control structure and go into a, a holding cell. And W. Chris Christiansen with Equinox Engineering says that will allow the Conservancy to sort of meter their use of water depending on how much they need and how much falls from the sky. The things that they're doing and the projects they're undertaking um, are not only good for the environment, but they're good for, you know, the Great Salt Lake and the things that helping to promote better water management out there. It's a pretty small patch when you consider the 80,000 acres at the Migratory Bird Refuge to the north, but it's better than simply watching it all shrink. If they don't do it, nobody else will. And Brown says with our declining shorelines, we, along with the hundreds of bird species that come here, need all we can get. And that's the scary part is some of these populations could potentially collapse. And the whole project costs about $350,000. It could be done by early November, giving them the chance to fill up those wetlands by next spring. Dan, back to you. Great idea. Thanks a lot, Mike.